a Somali refugee who fled her nation's civil war at age 17, is due to return to advise the government on ending the practice of female genital cutting or mutilation, or FGM, a cultural or religious practice carried out in large parts of Africa and the Middle East. Henry Ridgewell spoke to Ifra Hamed in London ahead of a trip to Somalia. 98% of Somali girls and women between the ages of 15 and 49 have undergone female genital mutilation, according to the United Nations, making it the country with the highest prevalence in the world. Anti-FGM campaigner Ifra Ahmed last month persuaded Somalia's Prime Minister Omar Abdi Rashid Ali Sharmak to add his signature to a one million strong petition calling for a ban. Not only that to sign, but um, he promised that he will be supporting the campaign and he will uh, support uh, within the parliament uh, before end of the year to bring the legislation. Ahmed herself was forced to undergo FGM as a young girl. She fled Somalia's civil war in 2006 and now lives in Ireland, but is due to return to her home country next month to become the Prime Minister's advisor on gender issues. Part of her job will be to develop an FGM eradication program. Young women die for bleeding, have kidney infection, a lot of different problems. And also some women, they die because of childbirth. And, uh, I say this is the reason I get involved and some men they sit and they listen and then they start arguing some of them they say well you know that is kind of western uh, culture that you you've been taking and now you want to make it and tell us what you've been told in Western countries. Somali government troops, alongside African Union and Kenyan forces, are battling Islamist al-Shabaab militants who continue to stage sporadic attacks. Ahmed says she hides her European background when visiting communities. There are a lot of organizations based in Somalia who are talking on FGM, but there is no really grassroots that people are going places to do the work because of the... Um, the situation in Somali, the whole thing is the war, everybody scares. Despite global pledges to end FGM, the United Nations estimates more than 130 million girls and women alive in the world today have undergone the practice. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.